Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you guys all of my traditional and classic sized horses, the briar horses. Um, so I'm going to start with the traditional ones, um, all the males. This is Justice. He is one of my favorites and he's a gypsy manor. And this is Crash, who is a quarter horse. And this is Padre, a Mustang. I'm going to take all of these halters off. Um, but yeah, and this is Nugget, who is a quarter horse thoroughbred cross, I'm pretty sure. And this Woodland Splendor, he is my first holiday briar, and I got him this year, because he's this year's horse model thing, 2016. You know, 2017, wait, what? <laughs> but yeah, and he's beautiful, yeah, and I'm afraid to take this all off, because I'm afraid I can't get his bridle back on through his ears. And I have this little padding thing, which you... And that, and then I also have all of that padding stuff. I still don't have enough, but I will. And this is yellow, but uh, yeah, because it's old. But um, it's like the plastic boxing, but it says Briar. There, I just had to focus it. <laughs> yeah, so it says Briar, and it belongs to a horse down here. I forget his name, but it's that guy right there. And then this is Mr. Hodris. His stand broke, so that's why he's laying down. But he's a pretty horse. Very largely built. And this is Bear. Well, on to the mares. She is a black horse, and she is all scratched up. Focus. There. Like, especially right there. So, yeah. She's the first one I got. Um, along with Crash. And Casey and the Nameless Kitty. Okay, anyways. And then this is Northern Dancer. She is a thoroughbred racehorse, retired, I think. Um, but yeah. Her mane's pretty. <laughs> I like how it's all weird. I don't know. And this is Lindsay's Faith, and I call her Faith for short. And yeah. She's like a Mustang, I'm pretty sure. This Glitterati, I think she's a quarter, I don't know, I don't know what, uh, breed, but, oh, well, um, yeah, she's pretty, she's, like, my third one that I've gotten, and she has chain reins that come over her head and stuff, and then this removable saddle, normally I have a pad underneath it, but, oh, well, and then over here are my animals. I have a cat who I still need a name for. And then this is Casey, a Labrador Retriever. And this is Laddie, Collie. <coughs> Onto the mares and foals. This is Misty and Stormy. They are Chinkachi Pony thingy majigs. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, and I just put cross quarter, I mean, curly horse because they have really curly texture. Yeah, they're cute. Then there's Gigi Valentine and Heartbreaker. Her ear, like, sometimes their ear gets, like, folded and stuff. Like, new. And I warped it back. It's still a little bit of a curve there. But it's, like, so much better. I don't know why that ear is so much uh, wider. Maybe I accidentally widened it or whatever when I was warping it. But it looks like it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. Anyway, she is so pretty, and I found out how much I like Heartbreaker's mold. Look how cute. And right here, you can obviously tell I try to warp his leg to make him stand better, but yeah, you guys can't really tell. But there's like some, I, must, I like faded the paint obviously, but um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, yeah. And then this is Prince. Yeah, this one's Prince. Wait, yeah. Yeah, she has a name, but I keep on forgetting it. I just have to look on identifierbrother.com. And Prince, they are so much prettier and smoother now that I actually clean them good with uh, the rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. Yeah, my room's a mess. Yeah. Okay.
And then, sorry, I forget her name. But yeah. And this is Joy. And I do not have a name for this little fool. On to my yeah, classics. Yeah, I'm not too fond of collecting them, even though they are beautiful. And I have nowhere else to put them inside, of, except for in here, because there's stuff up there, there's stuff over there, there's stuff right there, there's stuff in there, there's stuff up there. Okay, and then they won't stand in there, and yeah, okay. But yeah, I don't know. Okay. So this is Outlaw and Amigo. These are one of my first, I don't know, but uh, Outlaw, he is a pretty bucking horse. He's my first and only bucking horse, and, and Amigo. It, oh, I was about to say that he's my first um, classic foal, but he's my only classic foal. <laughs> and then this is my first um, rearing mold, let alone... He's vintage, yeah. Um, this is Azul. He is a blue roan. He's really pretty, and he came with the cougar, cougar, which is named Fosto. And I forget his name, but he's the one who came with that. He's a slightly different mold. Instead, his legs are separate like that, and one leg is like cocked really far, so he could either be rearing or running. Which this leg doesn't look like it's. In the shape for running. I don't know. Oh well. I like the the, the idea of uh, making it running or rearing though. And then this is Flicka. Her hooves are obviously messed up. She is like one of the 40 year old ones or whatever. Along with those four. So yeah. She looks very shiny in the camera. But yeah. This Flicka. 2006. Wait. 2006? Wait, what? Um, um, I'm just confused now. But this is Liam. He is a strawberry roan. I was going to name him Pixel because I didn't know his name was Liam, but then I found out that his name is Liam, so, yeah. <coughs> I think there's a thoroughbred show horse. Pretty blue roan. Uh, blue moon, or moon for short. Look at that pretty face. And there's another Darbrook show horse, Spike. That was going to be a temporary name, but it's not. It's permanent. And I don't know how these hoof prints got on here, but they did. And I like those little things, and it said Briar. But I can't make it that way, because, yeah, he's not going to go one, I don't know. And he lost most of his tail, yeah. And he is really cute. And this is, I don't have a name for him. But uh, he's a really cute gold Golden Bay Pinto. He's my first model horse that I ever got. I haven't even been collecting for that, wait, maybe like four years. I don't know. Gosh. And this is Whisper. She has this saddle pad on, and she's a pony. She's Appaloosa. She's, like, also one of my first. I don't know. I have a lot of firsts. Uh, get on. Then I also have Taylor, who is the traditional horse um, rider. But I don't know where she is. But this is Billy, and his pants are over there right here and he's missing a foot why doesn't this foot oh. stay proper way he's missing a foot obviously but one of his shoes are right here and then he's also missing a hand and i had a really nice cast but i took it off then i tried to put it back on and it me i messed it up but yeah And then I have this, uh, that is not what, okay, that's American Girl. Um, this is also Billy's hat. And these aren't all, um, traditional and 
classics, but oh well. I had this saddle, English saddle, and then this uh, Western saddle. This stable mate jump. These are all, there's all the supplies for all of my horses. Most of my horses. Not all. Um, and then this is a brush. I don't know what it belongs to, but it's just in here for some reason. I have this little briar feed. And then that's the best. Well, so save it. Ish. That's also my newest one. And I also got some carrots in a little bucket. And more carrots. And here, this is a little wooden grooming box. And I have some hoof, hoof licks. It actually says stuff. But it's really hard to see read because it's like tiny. It's actually really focused. So yeah, it's really hard to read. Then I have a, uh, I don't know what it's called. It's a type of curry comb, but I, I call it a shedding blade because I don't like it using it as a curry comb. Then a hard brush or stiff brush. And a soft brush or body brush. You see briar. And then in here, I don't exactly remember what goes on here, but this goes in here. I really forget what this belongs to, but then a horse brush here. Meh. And then in here, nothing was in it when I got it, but uh, here's a grooming box with leg wraps or whatever they're called out out in there sideways and it's like perfect fit so this is the part that goes on the inside and then outside so they don't like rub their feet by each other or whatever but yeah they go on their legs and um yeah and they are like and then two uh, well a curry comb if I, I had people who were in the pose for holding things, which my other rider, my rider could still hold it, but oh well. But yeah. Curry comb and hard brush. Or soft brush, I don't know. Did I really just get that to fit that nicely? Yeah. Normally, like, I could push it down and then it's like... Yeah, I like pushing up like like this, but I should be like that so it jiggles around. But I don't, I don't know. Anyways, it has a handle, which is I like these. I don't know. Okay, anyways, this video is getting long, and I've been focusing a lot of my time just on this top, this few stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna throw that in there, throw that right there, or here. All kinds of feed, and then jump, and then more feed, and then Billy stuff. Okay. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, I will show my, maybe my Schleich next. So, yeah, I have Schleich, all my animals, all my random horses, my other model horses slash custom stuffed animals, stable mates, and more other horses. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, that's really all for now. Um, oh, my sister got me the two um, vintage horses. Both of the rearing molds, models are vintage. So anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am still really happy with how he looks. <laughs> he is beautiful. He's the one that's sideways because he's awesome. <laughs> um, anyways... That's all for now. By the way, he's on the Golden Glory mode. Okay, I just love him. Oh, 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 oh. He has more stuff on the other side. That, I like how it's all. Anyways. All right, sorry. So anyways, yeah, that's all for this video. So bye.